everyone. So today I get to work on a Ford Huckster, um, which is right there. I'll turn it around. I'm going to be lettering the doors. It's an active business truck, so I'll be putting um, the phone number and the location and all that stuff on it. So here, I'll give you a look around. It's mostly covered, but you'll get the picture. So Ford Huckster's were basically business work trucks, uh, a lot of times wood, and then they would have these open sides. There's canvas on it now, but the bed, you know, rolls out here, and then you can do business or sell vegetables and stuff out of um, the bed of the truck. They're pretty cool, but today I'm gonna be lettering the door. So for this job, I used Ronin One Stroke Lettering Enamel. They're black. I've been using their black strictly for about seven years now. Um, I really like it. It's consistent. It's nice high gloss. And uh, so here I am, I'm using a MAC 189 brush. I forget the size, it might have been a size six. But because this is actual wood grain and there's a slight varnish on top of it, the surface is still pretty grainy. So you'll see me stroking um, the paint out a little bit more than I usually would. That's just to make sure I get inside that grain there. And uh, so it doesn't look patina. The truck is not patina. There's no need of putting you know, a weathered or aged sign on the doors when a truck is, you know, freshly restored and it's a beautiful truck. So I want to give it a paint job like it would have been done in the, you know, the early 30s. This is, I believe, a 1929 Ford Huckster. So I wanted to really make sure that I used something that would have been period correct in that time. Something that I have to keep in mind also for the grain of this truck is my tape lines. Because the grain is there, it is really hard for tape to get inside every little itty bitty groove. Um, and these grooves in this wood is, are very, very tiny. So I have to be cautious when I go um, and paint along the tape edge not to leave a lot of paint so it seeps into those, those grains. So I really make sure that I have my paint consistency just perfect on the brush so I don't run into a lot of runs. Uh, over thinning will run you know your paint into the grain any which way whether you have the tape line there or not so um, when you're painting on different surfaces you have to keep a lot of things in mind and um, bleeding, paint bleeding and all that stuff comes into play when you're working on anything with a texture like this so I really make sure that I have my paint consistency perfect for this job. After painting the letters, you'll see me um, peel back the tape edge almost after every single letter that I paint. That way the paint doesn't create a hard edge along where that tape is and um, it just dries you know, nicer, it looks nicer without that hard um, tape edge there. So I am going to throw on some tunes and uh, I hope you enjoy. Everything else after the next few letters is going to be more of a time lapse, uh, but I just wanted to share this job with you all. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> 